Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm a bit, I'm a bit upset. Um, I'm a bit disappointed. And um, I found it best over the years to just tell you, tell you what's going on. Just be upfront, be honest with you. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I found that taking a walk tends to be a good way to uh, to relieve stress and uh, recover sometimes. So I'm taking a walk here, and I'm going to share with you what actually what actually occurred. It's a beautiful day here, by the way, in uh, Nashville. Just a gorgeous day. You look around me here. This is the neighborhood I live in. I'm absolutely blessed to live here and uh, very fortunate and happy we found this place. At any rate, um, here's what happened. In what was really sort of the best of times, all the kids had flown in for uh, Mother's Day and we were having a great dinner. And in the middle of dinner, I decided to go downstairs and check on the fish. So I go downstairs and uh, lo and behold, my green tear or orange psalm regarding how you wanna, how you wanna refer to him is uh, belly up. I don't know what happened. And my, uh, my first conclusion was that I had in fact uh, purchased an older fish who, um, who, you know, was just at the end of his life cycle. I, I knew that when I first got him. He looked, he looked a little old, he looked a little beat up. And uh, a little bit of a sunken belly and a couple other things going on. So, but I thought I'd take him, I'd take him home and nurse him back to health. And he looked like he was doing well. But then he, uh, suddenly, unexpectedly, I mean, he seemed a little, maybe a little out of sorts that afternoon, but, but he was swimming around and seemed okay. He wasn't uh, beat up or anything. It wasn't like the, it wasn't like, it wasn't like the other fish in his tank had attacked him or anything, which was unlikely since that fish was about a third his size. And of course, I'm talking uh, the Salvini, that, I'm talking about the Salvini that's in there with him. The Salvini didn't attack him. What I suspect happened is either, well, I have a couple, a couple suspicions. One of them is that he was old. And uh, like my youngest daughter said, well, gee, dad, that's kind of good that you gave him a good end of life. Which, I mean, I guess that's one way to look at it. The other, the other thing that then crossed my mind is that something, something had been imported into the tank by the Salvini. The, the um, but, but that didn't make any sense since the Salvini was still swimming around and doing okay. But then the next morning, the uh, Salvini was dead and had a very long, stringy, stringy poop hanging out of him. So I'm thinking perhaps the Salvini may have imported some type of a, um, some type of a parasite, a parasite uh, for which the, uh, for which the, the orange psalm, the green tear, had less, less resistance to and uh, succumbed more quickly to. And then the, then, the Salvini, then the Salvini passed shortly thereafter. So um, at any rate, I lost them both. And as you can see now, I have this, uh, this empty tank. And I certainly will be looking for a green tear orange psalm that I can go ahead and uh, raise up. I think I'll grow one out. I think that's where I get the most joy in uh, growing fish out. So I think I'll do that. And uh, there was also some good news. While my boys were in town, together with my son-in-law, we were able to lift that 
that large tank from glass cages and put it on the stand. So that was good. And uh, for those of you who saw my trip to glass cages, that video, you noticed at one point in the video, I got a fish. And that was the, um, a little Jack Dempsey. And you can see him here. He's, uh, he's doing really well. He's doing great. So that's good news. And the other fish you can see here, those fish are all doing great. All the other tanks are doing great. So um, just wanted to keep it real, keep it honest with you, let you know what's going on. I had a setback, but that happens. And uh, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna go ahead and get this 90 gallon tank set up. And, uh, and then I'm gonna uh, probably move the uh, South Americans Move the South Americans over to that 90 and, and then figure out what to do with that 210, 210 gallon tank that I've committed to from glass cages. You can see it in the glass cages, uh, glass cages video. But all the fish are doing well, even my, uh, my killer, even my killer, my uh, Eureka Red Jake. They're all doing great. And that's, and I got the tank, the tank on the stand. So that's good. So it's a uh, best of times, worst of times, worst of times for me right now. But uh, as I have always done, I will bounce back and, uh, and do well. So there you have it. It's not all bad, um, some good did occur and, and uh, it was great having all my kids here in one place, which uh, now that they've gotten older and live in the different corners of the country, it's nice to get them together. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, be sure to hit that, be sure to hit that uh, thumbs up and, and uh, comment below if you have any comments, advice, ideas. And uh, if I have one takeaway from it, it's probably gonna be this. When I'm quarantined, when I'm getting it, when I have a new fish, and I've had that fish for under a month, I'm probably not gonna add another fish to the quarantine tank. And if I do, what I'll do is I'll probably treat. And by that, what I mean is I'll go ahead and maybe use that, that medication combination, for example, like the one that's recommended by the aquarium co-op, something like that, where I would treat the fish in the tank and then go ahead and, uh, and go from there, that way I, you don't get all the all the different combination combinations and mixes that can occur when you're bringing in different fish because i mean it's entirely possible that that the green tear already had a parasite and gave it to the salvini i don't know it's one of those things where without autopsies and who's going to pay for an autopsy on the fish without all autopsies i'm not going to really know what happened all i know is i'm kind of bummed out but uh comes with the territory for those of us who have kept fish for a long time, you know that stuff happens. And uh, on the bright side, uh, there's a lot of other good stuff going on, so not to be totally negative. Okay, thank you for tuning in, my friends. I hope to see you on Saturday. We'll talk some more about this on the live stream. All right? And uh, just wanted you to be completely updated. Keep it honest, no need to hide what's going on. It is what it is. All right, hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.